Well, it's been 10 years since the um, fabled 2011 Sunnybank Premiership. Um, some fond memories of that uh, in the years. Well, obviously winning the comp, that was great. Um, training with Rotor and uh, Taps and all their excuses. I think I told them at the beginning of the year if I hadn't heard an excuse before, they could use it, but uh, most of the time I've got I used, uh, I've, heard, I've heard it before, right? It's too late, mate. Someone's got to use that one. Uh, I probably think the proudest moment for us as a club was um, taking eight teams into the um, in the season and then winning with, uh, getting to the semi-finals with six of them and then two of them going on to win the grand final. We had four played the grand finals, I think. That was a big moment for me. I thought that was great. Uh, especially since uh, that implementation of that rotational system that um, worked really well in that in that Sunnybank system. Um, unfortunately, I don't think it's been used much again, which is uh, a shame because it, uh, I think the benefits of it were were great. Um, toughest moment was um, uh, finding time in the grand final for those fabulous back rowers, Nigel and Benny and Liam and those blokes, trying to find time for them to, to play. Uh, you know, having to rotate them in that system that was. A really tough thing but uh, obviously that had to be done and I think in the end when uh, I think Ben Adams just kept going couldn't work out the six and eight defensive plan and we kept going through that and he just kept getting leaving that hole there for that center to run through uh, we put I have one back on that closed it up pretty quick so it stopped all that um, uh, those issues with those brothers players scoring those two quick tries that wasn't good um, my other tough moment I reckon was that day at brothers when we had to win that game and we're down at half time and I think Wall took his by the side, by the um, scruff of the neck and said, look, come on, we're going to play through the middle, do what he told, told you to do. And you went through the middle and cleaned them up. And I think we scored 30 points in the second half and it was fabulous. Uh, that was a turning point. I think that's where we started the real march in towards that grand final, which we won. Um, uh, some funny things were watching Dan McKellar and Jason Gilmore give their bloke sprays after games that they should have won, that we just beat them by just being well-organised and well-structured and... Um, uh, basically chipping away at their weaknesses. Uh, obviously been too good over that. The, the other funny one was having to deal with the Masashi brothers who um, they wanted to do on the week of the grand final, they wanted to do Russian leaps around the paddock and I just, no boys, no, 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 we're not doing that today. You can do some running, do some sprinting if you want, but no extra um, extra pressure on muscles. We don't want to snap a hamstring today. Thanks very much on Tuesday before a grand final. So that was good. Um, Uh, other highlights were obviously working with um, players, working, watching the Lucas Brothers play together in that grand final. That was great. I really enjoyed that. Um, worked, working with Nath, um, the front row, that front row was great fun. Uh, poor old Mossa. Um, yeah, what happened to him, I was, I was a bit sad about. We'd, we'd done a lot of work with Mossa, and um, he was uh, one of those blokes with a lot of, a lot of potential and talent. Um, yeah, with my team, obviously, uh, working with Rocket was great. You know, they supported me all the way through with Dazza and Michael and um, also the year before working with Sambo. I really enjoyed working with Sambo. It was great. Um, watching, well, some of the best things was watching you develop as people and, play, and players. Um, I had all those schoolboys come through, so Liam and Maddie and um, um, Albert, um, Richard Kingy, those sort of blokes. I had all those blokes in the schoolboy stuff. So watching you develop as players and come through and then win that grand final, was, it was great fun. Um, it was, it's just good to see young blokes come through and achieve their potential. And obviously, apart from Krug and I, everyone else has gone on to achieve bigger and better things, but um, that's how it goes sometimes. Uh, you know, that might be the highlight of our, our coaching or playing careers, but that's, you know, that's probably enough to win a, a Queensland Premiership, so I'm very proud of that. Um, some of the funny things was <laughs> having to demonstrate or remonstrate with the referees about you know, Matty Lucas making a high tackle. You know, sh Matty Lucas couldn't make a high tackle if you tried. Seriously, or that the time that the bloke went straight out of the top of him and he, and he tackled him, he went over his shoulder and landed on his head, so he set him off for a spear tackle. That was good. Um, the other one was uh, the match referee fellow, what was his name? I can't think of his name. He used to, I was, I'd show him the video of Radar and he'd say, Tony, you've, ta you've tampered with it. I can see you've tampered with it. It's been spliced. You know, this is not easy. And, and, you know, to think that I could tamper with it for a start was smart enough to do it, or that I would tamper with it, it was just. You know, ridiculous from in, in in saying that, but anyway, that's how it was. Um, yeah, so just being a part of that whole scene, being a part of the the players, being a part of that club. I, you know, I really really enjoyed the camaraderie and the the team aspect of it all. I really enjoyed the 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 um, being part of a, of a, a system of groups of players that were you know achieving really high standards. And you know, even even now, just watching 
on television, you always see someone, you know, you'll, you'll see someone who's playing on, um, in that you'll coach or play or had as a player in um, in France or England or something like that. And, you know, watching Holmesy play for uh, Worcester or wherever it was last year, the year before last, um, that was great. And, and Robbie Simmons playing for the French team the other day was good. You know, so yeah, you, you always see someone you know playing, so it's, it's part of that team. It's, it's great to see that all those players and all you players have gone on and done wonderful things with your lives, and that's what it's all about, you know, supporting you as people to be the best you possibly can. So that's about it for me. I'll let Crookie splice it all together and um, make some crap out of it for him, for us. Um, uh, yeah, great. So I'm looking forward to seeing you all there, and um, if we uh, have a couple of beers and watch a game, it'll be great. All right, see you on Saturday. This is Rod Saib. In 2011, it was my absolute pleasure to assist Tiny in coaching the first grade side at Sunnybank. Uh, a wonderful year for the club. And for me personally, it was my first year back at the club since uh, playing many years before. And it was great when I did return to see so many familiar faces. Uh, the likes of Alison and Noel Brahm, uh, to hear Ali's voice on the sideline was a constant uh, feature when I was playing. And to hear her voice still on the sideline uh, returning was great. Uh, to have the, the greatest team manager of all time uh, in Mooney, Neil Armstrong, uh, holding up the bar at the club still was uh, great to see him there and catch up and, and the likes of uh, even guys I shared the field with like Adam Wallace Harrison, uh, who was still, you know, running around uh, in those days. And well, I mean, he wasn't running around, let's face it, his knees were stuffed, but he was still getting around pretty well. So when the Reds would release him, he, he'd play for us. But I had many five memories from that year. And um, one of them is, uh, from our, our skipper, James Trukellis. Um, Krukey was a great leader. Um, at that time, we had fantastic players within the club and we also had returning players from the Reds. So to have someone gel the team together uh, was really important. Uh, so to have Krukey as that sort of binding voice, um, you know, was really, um, really special. And uh, over my time as a player and a coach, I've heard many pregame speeches, but Krukey still holds the record for the most amount of fucks in one speech. Um, outstanding, mate. But uh, listen, uh, apologies, I cannot be there with you this evening. Uh, work dragged me away, but uh, all the best. And, uh, and may we catch up again in another 10 years. Thanks a lot. Hi, folks. Sean McCooler here. 2011, what a year. I had, uh, I had the joyous honour of uh, being uh, the Prems and, and club physio at the time. Uh, I was also lucky enough to be on part of the, the committee for, for Senior Sunnybank. And uh, it allowed me to get uh, the view of a, of a club that was really just rocking at the time. Of really uh, lovely people, really lovely atmosphere, um, and, and just really good leadership both on and off the field. So um, I still consider people that I was in contact with then as a, a part of my mentors through uh, both personal and, and business life. So. It's opened up. Uh, it opened up a lot of doors for me at the time, and um, yeah, we had six in the in the finals, and yeah, we won the won the GF for the big one. But it's just such a great bunch of people at the time, and that's what I'll always remember. So well done. Have a great time. Hope to see you soon. Bye. Hey everybody, it's Corey McDonald here. Um, my role with Sunnybank Rugby Union in 2011 was with strength and conditioning. Um, working on the athletic performance side, um, 2011. What a what an amazing year um, with some amazing outcomes for the club as a whole. Um, so many grades um, playing in the final series, let alone playing on 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 the big dance, the last day of the year, um, and then to cap it off with with a couple of premierships, um, amazing feat. Um, 2011. Um, in my mind is really the culmination of a lot of hard work that was put in in 2010 um, to create some strong foundations um, with with the club and the playing group and and I think that really came you know it, it bore fr uh, bad fruit in 2011 um, with the successes that we all shared together um, like in business sport is no different um, and you know having a common goal and everyone working towards that, I, I do believe made that made the successes that we, we were able to achieve in 2011 um, come through. Um, and that's from the director of rugby, 
also uh, the coaching staff and the playing group all buying in. So, yeah, it was really a pleasure to be a part of. Um, and, uh, you know, to see players like Shalom um, and uh, all, the, all the younger players getting opportunities and then getting reinforcement um, with the Reds who had a successful year and, um, you know, coming back into a Sunnybank side that they, they all came through pathways as well. Um, what an amazing pathway, what an amazing club. Um, the hill, um, the crowd, uh, and the final whistle blown are, are great memories as well, and one that I'm glad to have shared with everyone. Um, I hope everyone has a great day, um, and green, white, black. You know, all those fellow dragons out there, just uh, a couple of memories of mine from uh, the 2011 season. Um, biggest thing I can remember is that uh, the hard work started in about October, November, with uh, everyone digging in hard in pre-season and then continuing on into the season and throughout the season right across all the grades. Um, also, the the nucleus of the team uh, had been at the club for a long time and a number of them had come up through that successful coach program that we had in 07, 08, 09, um, which laid the platform for the uh, 2011 season with the sprinkling of those more senior players of... Uh, Kariki and Holmesy, so on and so forth in the uh, in the team, um, and then uh, then I moved into being uh, general manager at the time of the grand final, and all I can remember is the cleaning up after the party um, that went on for days and days. But uh, great memories. Um, looking forward to catching up with everyone on Saturday, and uh, yeah, hopefully the uh, the Dragons can turn their fortunes around and have a good win on Saturday. Good day. I hope it, oh fucking dumb fuck. Let's start again. Hi all. I hope everyone is well. Um, you know we get the fu oh fucking oh you dick. Hi all. I hope everyone is well. Um, if I can remember back to the 2011 Sunnybank squad, I think um, it was just such a good mix of the young and old, and. Um, you know, the average age of the team back then was probably around about 25. However, I remember someone saying, um, if Undies and, and, uh, uh, what's his name? Adam Wallace Harrison wasn't there, the average age would have been at least 21, but, uh, we had to round it up for the old boys. So yeah, it was around about 25, the average age back then. But it was such a good mix of the young and the old. And, um, I thought, um, I thought, uh, sorry, the, the, the kids are getting yelling from their mother in the background. Um, I thought it was a great mix back then. And, you know, we got the uh, an opportunity to play brothers today um, in front of all you guys today. So hopefully we can do the job on them. Um, and hopefully we put a performance out for you guys. Take care and uh, I'll see you for a few beers at halftime. G'day, my name's Ben Fox. I played hooker during the 2011 season for Sunday. My memories of that time were kind of really stretch back to 2005 when I was playing cops. I remember uh, sitting on the hill uh, when Sunny Mate was 40 on the goal to take the premiership and watching Ryan Stein, James Sewer, Bobby Pierre, and of course McConnell Gideon and Samson running around and just thinking, this is absolutely what I want to play in the field. You know, fast forward a few years, the club went through a, quite a bit of change in that period. You know, we moved from Big Field 1 over the old Mac over there, the new clubhouse, and then later the gym. We were absolutely in the end of the club. And I remember during the playing games through that period, that, that was really dominant on the field, uh, but the envy of other clubs. They really wanted to take us on the field. And, and that's what the 2011 season in particular, my was about. So my message is two things. One of thanks and one of congratulations. One, Thanks, 10 years on, Tiny, for giving us a shot to play amongst these exemplary players. You know, eight, upwards of 80% went on to play representative ones. And my second message there is, is, is congratulations to those that went on to play, you know, either for the Reds, to all these uh, professional and around the world. Uh, I look forward to catching up with you all for a beer. Thanks. Hey guys, Greg Holmes here. Just wanted to uh, check in, say hi. Um, apologies I couldn't make it today, it would have been a great day, I'd have loved to have been there. Um, 
yeah, it would have been nothing better than sit down and have a few beers and tell some tall stories about the the old days. Talk about that premiership, yeah, what a day it was. Um, anyway, hope you have a great day and good luck to everyone there. Cheers. G'day guys, Nathan Byrne here. Um, was fortunate enough to play uh, for a, quite a while for Sunnybank and uh, was lucky enough to be involved in the 2011 Premiership season. Um, obviously this year being the 10 year anniversary of that gives you a bit of time to think back on those times at the club and how awesome they were. You know, not only Premier grade but the whole club being so sex- successful at that time. Um, you know, a lot of Premierships, a lot of finals, berths for a lot of teams at the club and um, it was just a hell of a place to be around at that time of year. Um, rugby was booming in Queensland at that time. So, you know, being around such a successful club and being uh, involved in such a sec- successful team was a pretty awesome thing and, you know, very fond memories from myself. Um, singling out that year, I think we had a pretty formidable Ford pack at that time and um, that was capped off with a lot of uh, pushover tries and penalty tries, which is obviously cream of the crop for an ex-front rower. And um, something that, you know, I look back very fondly of in my time playing rugby. Um, I was extremely lucky to play with some pretty talented players back then. And, um, you know, I think it's a testament to the club and the sort of the framework that the club had at that time that, you know, I was one of the few players that didn't play higher honours out of that team. So, you know, it's just a, uh, a real feather in the cap to um, everyone involved that how many players went on to play higher honours. Um, the club as a whole is obviously a pretty special place for me. I played juniors, Colts, and was lucky enough to play premier grade there and met a lot of lifelong friends and best mates and obviously met my wife through the club as well. So it's a pretty special place for me. Um, unfortunately, don't get to get there as much anymore living on the Sunshine Coast. But, um, yeah, enjoy reading up the results and uh, I'm really looking forward to getting down the club this weekend and having a few beers with a few old mates and reminiscing on times when my back wasn't as sore. So... Looking forward to it, guys. Cheers. Hello, fellow Sunnybank Dragons. Adam Wallace-Harrison here, um, second row. Spent a little bit of time in the back row, but a bit of an imposter in the back row, but I took it any time I could. Um, most memorable moment for 2011. Winning the final was obviously massive and, and, a, and it's something I've been aiming for uh, my entire amateur and professional career. Uh, but I think, uh, looking back, we had to win. To get into the finals, we had to win the last, I think, five or six games straight, um, starting with brothers at Crosby Park. Um, they got off to a good lead. I think we were about 20 points down at half time and we came out in the second half and ended up uh, and winning and winning well. Um, obviously built some uh, confidence and some, some momentum off the back of that and uh, went through to win the remaining um, five or six games and then went through and beat the Filth again in the final, in the, in the grand final. Anytime you can beat the Filth is a good thing, but to, to beat them uh, like that. Uh, was massive. I think they knew too. If we, if they had a beaten us, then they, we, um, we would have been put put to bed and wouldn't wouldn't have made the final. So, a big game. Anyway, uh, that was my memorable moment. And uh, looking forward to having a beer with everyone at the Old Boys Day. Um, been too long. Looking forward to uh, catching up. Take it easy. Bye. My name's Craig Callis, second rower, and I was fortunate enough to be club captain that year. Um, my summary of the year was um, how we're able to bring it all together. Um, we always had really great players, really talented players, um, great coaches. Um, the club culture and um, the spirit around the club was really strong that year too with a lot of success. But the way we were able to bring together um, the largely amateur players led by people like myself and then incorporating the super players as they finish their season and, and integrate them into the side. Um, I remember them coming in and sort of looking at our warm-ups and laughing. Um, and then conversely, I also remember... Um, trying to manage the egos of those boys as they uh, sort of came from different coaching structures and, and different um, organisations. Um, I also remember playing brothers when our stacked players all came back and I think we were rank outsiders and I think a few guys cleaned up on the odds that day. And another fond memory was rolling Nice at Sunnybank on the backfield there. Um, I think Nathan actually broke his neck that day, which wasn't the best, but um, as a fierce rival, East were at the time. It was really good to knock him out of the finals. Um, lifelong friends have developed from this for me um, and... Um, um, yeah, wish I could be back there playing on a day like today when the sun's out and we're, and we're sort of um, smashing one of our rivals. So all the best and up the bank. Thanks, guys. G'day, everyone. My name's Ben Adams and I played in the back row and unfortunately a few stints in the second row for the Sunny Bank Dragons in the 2011 Premiership winning year. Uh, what a year it was. We had, what, six, six teams in the finals. 
uh, and finishing off with Premiership in, in Premier Grade. Um, that was such a surreal experience because uh, we it was up and down all year and we had just scraped into the finals and got to play with some truly incredible players, uh, not just the Super Rugby players. Uh, we had we had uh, players from the USA, we had players who moved on from that year to high, much higher honours, to go uh, full-time rugby after that. And um, not just us, not just the players, but coaches as well. Uh, Sambo and Saibi moving on to uh, to higher, higher honours. It was such a good year, and I hope there's as many of, of, of the players and staff from that year there today to watch uh, the Mighty Dragons bury the filth. Um, I personally, I uh, I kind of I've got so much gratitude for that club because I uh, I think I spent more time off the pitch than on it. Uh, injuries really plagued me, but I th it is a bit of a blessing because I got to know so many people, so many wonderful people off the pitch as uh, as well as the players as well. So. I've got nothing but love for the Sunnybank and I really, really hope everyone has a wonderful day and get stuck in on the hill and hopefully, hopefully a, a big win over the filth. Thank you very much. Tala for lover. My name is Nigel R. Wong. I played back row for Sunnybank in 2011, um, mainly at number six. Um, man, I can't believe it's been 10 years already, but... I certainly do hold a lot of fond memories from both on and off the field uh, that season. Obviously, winning the grand final was uh, the highlight, but you know the opportunity I had to be part of such a talented squad and be coached by some quality coaches uh, definitely helped my transition into professional footy, and it's uh, something uh, that I'll always be uh, grateful to the club for. And um, uh, Shalom was right, I did... Um, hang out in the backs quite a bit as a back rower and um, you can probably kind of say we were onto something back then because uh, you know now you see a lot of back rowers hanging out on the edge um, and you know Tiny you could have cashed in on that but I like Yils um, you know we had a lot of fun that year and you know we just enjoyed um, playing alongside each other in that green jersey and uh, giving it to the other teams and I think that's um, what contributed to uh, our success was um, you know, just enjoying it and having so much fun. So just want to wish uh, this year's group uh, all the best and all the success for, this, uh, for the remainder of the season. Um, I hope everyone is doing well and I uh, look forward to catching up with everyone soon. Take care. Hi, guys. George Blomfield here. I played flanker for Sunnybank in the 2011 season. It's a great season for the club and for the boys. I've got... Uh, Plenty of good memories of uh, playing in that team, playing with guys like uh, Gitz, Danny Rutledge, who's always pretty pretty good on the sting and running an X in the middle, and uh, and fellas like Shane Suelli. I tell you what, the best feeling you get on a on a rugby field is when you're defending your own line, you're pinned down, you know, pick and drive against pick and drive, just um, you know, getting your shoulders bashed up, and then moments later the opposition goes wide, and then you see Shane pluck an intercept and, and run the field and, and dot it down under the sticks. It, it's a pretty good feeling. I've, I've seen him do that a couple of times. So, yeah, love playing with guys like that. Um, another good memory is in, in the reserve grade team, just getting really fired up before UQ in the semifinals where we beat them to get a spot at the big dance. I think uh, a few of the boys were pretty fired up for that one. Good to uh, good to get the win over UQ. So, um, yeah, looking forward to getting down on Saturday and celebrating with the guys, reconnecting with some of the, some of the lads. I think... Rugby's been pretty good to me over the years. I've played overseas and played for different uh, different clubs and different unis and a couple of different clubs in Brisbane now. Um, but uh, that Sunnybank season, my first Premier Grade season in 2011, really, uh, really special time for me and a special time for the club. And, and yeah, like I say, looking forward to catching up for a few beers on the weekend. Uh, g'day Sunnybank crew, um, Matty Lucas here just uh, touching base from over in Tokyo. Um, Devastator can't be there for the 10 year reunion of our, our 2011 Premiership, um, such a special time. Um, so grateful to have those memories. Um, you know, I got to play with, uh, I was so fortunate I got to play with my older brother, um, got to play with some of my best mates, Benny Adams and, and Gilly and the likes. Um, and then, you know, you, throwing Holmesy and Wall and Krukey and that. It's just, yeah, very grateful for, for the time we spent there. I think the thing I remember was just, you know, especially at the back end of the year when typically 
things tighten up and pressure mounts at the finals footy and that sort of thing. I think as a team, we probably went the complete other way. You know, we the amount of fun we were having at training and in the games was just was something that sticks out to me. You know, you had Nigel, Samudi and Rhoda and that carrying on like gooses. Um, you had Gilly trying to convince everyone that he should be doing the kickoffs and the goal kicks. Um, you know, I remember Holmes, he would, you know, give me a rabbit punch on the top of my noggin um, any time I got a charge down or a knock on or anything. Um, I think it was just, you know, payback for, you know, he's, I think he did another another nudie run that year, old Homer. Um, but yeah, so grateful for that year. The friendships, you know, still keep in touch with blokes like Shalom. Um, and, you know, to this day, we still chat. So, you know, very grateful for the memories we had in that um, in that year. But uh, devastated, I can't be there. Enjoy a couple beers. Um, and hopefully I get to catch up with a couple of you soon. Um, cheers, guys. Hey there, Sunnybank fam. Um, Benny Lucas tuning in here from uh, Fukuoka, Japan. Um, bit gutted I couldn't be there um, for the 10-year reunion, but um, I mean, just reflecting back now, I mean, what a year. Um, yeah, I mean, not only did the uh, the Prems make the finals, but I think there was five or six other teams um, that made the uh, finals as well. So, I mean, obviously, um, yeah, I mean, club culture and and uh, everything like that was on a, a, a very much a high. Um, thinking back now, I mean, there were so many good memories. You know, I mean, so many good um, uh, things to to think back on. But um, I think one thing that stood out for me in, in that team was how much we just um, enjoyed playing with each other. Um, yeah, I mean, we really loved going out there on a Saturday and just. Yeah, I mean, having a good time and, you know, we played some really good footy because of that. Um, I just remember laughing, like, I mean, Rhoda R- bloody said, he just, I mean, he was laughing pretty much 24-7. He'd be running down the wing, but he just laughing at blokes, putting footwork on him, doing everything. Um, but no, a really good year. Um, also, you know, it was that much sweeter for me playing with my younger brother, um, winning a premiership together. So that was very sweet for me. Um, I think also Holmesy was probably going on his third or fourth year straight for nudie run for no try during the season. Um, I mean, he I think he, he ended up liking the nudie runs by the end anyway. So, um, but plenty of good memories. Um, as I sort of said, I wish I could be there celebrating with everyone. Um, but yeah, um, enjoy and and uh, um, let's uh, let's see some good results moving forward as well. Hey everybody, this is Shalom here, tuning in from Seattle, Washington. Uh, I played fly half for the 2011 team in what was a very memorable year for the club. Uh, not only did the Premier team make the final, but there were several other teams uh, that did as well. And so a lot of fond memories, on-field memories. I think one of them was uh, uh, that stands out is just Nigel Awong hung out with the backs a lot. <laughs> he de- so desperately wanted to be a back, but Tiny wouldn't let him. <laughs> I'm glad it worked out for him later in his career and of course we all know that he done really well and 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 being a fly half I remember you know I had we had all these moves coming from the, the Lucas brothers to Shatsy um but you know the only call I'd get from Rhoda and Richard King was uh, a, a double face <laughs> miss balls and, and and things like that so they were so greedy but they were so good um you know Paul Taps was trying to uh, uh, call for the ball, but his brother, his own brother, was calling for a face ball at centre. So, a lot of great memories, a lot of fond memories, a lot of great friendships uh, that have been established over the years because of that year. So, a big thank you to the club. Um, I think sports is about opportunities and experiences. Good or bad, you'll get one. Uh, and certainly from that experience, I've uh, I had a great experience there and, and got some uh, great friendships, uh, lasting friendships uh, uh, because of that. So. Thank you, Sunnybank. Um, happy 10-year anniversary. Enjoy everything about this weekend. And to all those coming through, keep going at it. What's up, guys? It's Rhoda here, coming to you live all the way from the 43 Ipswich. Just want to give a quick shout-out to all the boys, all the teams, all the players that played that year in the grand final. Man, that was a memorable year. That was a solid year. Uh, my position that I played was uh, right wing. Hey, number 14. Yo. And this is the good old jersey that we were playing, so it still fits me. But that year was a memorable year. There's a couple of things that I wanted to share. It was the memorable times that basically was winning the grand final was one. Um, beating the Australia Sevens up in Sunshine Coast 
was the second one, and also the third one was meeting my wife while we were playing sevens up in Thailand Coast. <laughs> so that's the third, three th best things that ever happened that year. But just moving on with the, the grand final uh, team of that year, man, that was a pretty solid, sweet year. Um, playing with the big names, and also just kind of having that culture within the team, it was pretty mean. A uh, proud moment just to see every all the boys progress from that, being getting bigger contracts, you know, and uh, playing overseas, playing super. Man, that was pretty sweet. Uh, it's a kind of success uh, to the club and also to the coaches and everyone that was playing together. But just all the boys, big shout out, you know, and hopefully we meet up again one day. But there's Sunny Banks gonna always have a spot in my heart. Um, so all the boys. Good luck, enjoy the moment, enjoy the time out there with the boys, and have fun. Peace out. Yo, how's it going? It's the most lovable winger, Peter Lee. Yo, what's up, bro? How's it going? What's up? Who's that? We're still walking around the club, just getting involved, getting amongst it. Um, yeah, so if you don't know me, I'm Peter, also known as Black Caviar, Farlap, uh, what else? Quadzilla, that, that, that was probably one of my favourites. But, uh... <laughs> Um, in all seriousness, um, it's been 10 years since we've all, um, since the Brothers Premiership or the Premiership back in 2011. And yeah, well, well, we not only have I gotten old, I've grown a beard and my hair's gotten longer as well. So kudos to myself. <laughs> uh, but I just wanted to go back to the memories, you know, the brotherhood, uh, the relationships, the friendships that we made back then, still going on this to now. You know, I'm still running around the club, you know. I see all the boys week in, week out. And, you know, I guess for me, it's there was nothing better than crossing the white line with all your boys um, back then. You know, whether I was playing prems, first grade, second grade, playing Colts, you know, it was always a pleasure and always a privilege to put on that jersey. You know, it was always earned. Nah, never owned. You know, you're just borrowing every week. So, you know, I guess, just like to say, you know, I'm here now. You know, the club culture that we had back then, competitive, challenging each other, always proving, trying to get better. You know, we're always trying to thrive to be professional athletes. You know, I guess I'll thank the bank, not just for, like, you know, my career on rugby, but also the man that I've become as well. And I hold that, you know, I hold the green, white, black close to my heart. You know, Fijian Samoan, Australian, you know, Sunny Bank's up there as well. Um, you know, bleak green, and there's nothing better than that. So, you know, Bula Vanaka, uh, thank you, praise the Lord. And uh, follow my Instagram, my Facebook, my LinkedIn, my Twitter, everything else as well. Yo, peace out. Love ya. G'day guys, uh, Solomon Moore here from the Queensland Referees. Um, you're probably wondering why referees making an appearance uh, on your video here. You can thank Kruki for that. Um, but yeah, look, thinking back on 2011, um, fantastic year. Probably one of my more enjoyable seasons running around. Um, and definitely had some, uh, some really enjoyable times out at the bank and, and refereeing the Sunnybank boys. Um, you know, you had a great, a great side, some really good uh, characters around the club and, and had some great memories from that time. You know, never forget uh, Tony Nolan crushing my hand every time I come to shake hands before a game and uh, do the boot check and have a chat. Um, you know, and some great people, the, the Tapuai boys, Foxy, Burnsy, Holmesy, um, obviously refereeing Sunnybank after having dealt with uh, the likes of McConaughey and Sambo. Um, Certainly, it was a lot easier without them chewing their ear off. But Kruki was certainly starting to find his uh, find his voice by then. Um, I'm pretty sure even back in 2011 that uh, Rexy Tapuai probably qualified for Golden Oldies and, and and did a bloody good job for you boys. So um, yeah, look, have a fantastic day with uh, Old Boys Day and your um, your reunion. And um, I, I was appointed to referee reserve grade out there today, but um, I'm, I'm sure you can appreciate why I'm not. Was uh, was pretty keen not to not to cop that from the stands there this weekend, um, but no, in all seriousness, uh, have a have a great time, guys, and definitely uh, look forward to crossing paths and having a beer with some of you. Cheers, boys.